In This Week in Military History, we discuss Operation Linebacker during the Vietnam War. On May 10, 1972, the administration of President Richard Nixon began one of the last bombing campaigns of the Vietnam War, Operation Linebacker. Like Operation Rolling Thunder during the presidency of Lyndon B. Johnson, Linebacker targeted infrastructure and facilities in North Vietnam. The Nixon administration had recently reauthorized bombing of these targets in response to the North Vietnamese invasion of South Vietnam known as the Easter Offensive. In April, U.S. forces responded with Operation Freedom Train, which launched air sorties against North Vietnam's supply lines and depots, and initially only in its southernmost regions. In contrast, Linebacker was a much larger and more destructive air campaign that was not constrained by the limits the Johnson administration had placed on Rolling Thunder, with targets throughout North Vietnam, including the capital Hanoi and the main port Haiphong. U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy planes bombed roads, railways, bridges, power plants, warehouses, oil depots, and also dropped mines into North Vietnamese harbors. Linebacker lasted more than five months, with U.S. planes flying more than 40,000 sorties and dropping more than 150,000 tons of bombs. It also saw the first widespread use of precision-guided munitions, including laser-guided bombs. While it did little to impede the Easter Offensive, U.S. air power did play a crucial role in stopping the North Vietnamese invasion by supporting troops fighting to defend South Vietnam, the Army of the Republic of Vietnam. By this time in the offensive, most U.S. ground troops had been withdrawn. Linebacker did, however, have an impact in convincing the North Vietnamese government to agree to a ceasefire. But, when the South Vietnamese government balked at proposed terms, North Vietnamese negotiators refused changes. Nixon then ordered another bombing campaign of North Vietnam in December 1972 called Linebacker II, also known as the Christmas bombings. This led to the Paris Peace Accords of 1973, a settlement that finally ended U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War, which Nixon described as peace with honor, though it left much of South Vietnam under the control of North Vietnamese troops. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.